National Safe Boating Week will kick off tomorrow, and members with the U.S. Coast Guard Station in Green Bay will be hosting a special event. Emily Deem is live with more. Hi, Em. Rachel, good morning to you. Hi, everybody. I am wearing a dry suit this morning. This is what members of the Coast Guard would wear. You can check it out. You can take a look at Craig and Mo behind me. They got their life jackets on, too. We're talking safety. Tomorrow kicks off National Safe Boating Week. Paul Mason is here with me with the Coast Guard Auxiliary to tell us a little bit more. But first, Paul, we want to talk about um, what kids should be wearing for safety and tell me some regulations that parents should know about. Well, uh, the federal regulations state that any person under 13 years old on a powerboat underway uh, must be wearing a life jacket. And uh, we have just phenomenal young youth life jackets available today. So there's no excuse not to wear a life jacket. We have these, this is what's called a type 3, nice pretty colors so it looks fashionable. We get down into the uh, infant sizes and we have these new designs for infants. Uh, this type of design for infants. So there, there are a lot of life jacket designs available to uh, conform to that law. Um, in addition to in adult life jackets, we're wearing these new type fives, uh, which are um, what they call suspenders. And uh, we're finding that uh, sailboaters, uh, fishermen just love these. Uh, you have to be 16 years old or older to be able to wear these, to use them. And um, the um, they are, these are manual inflate, so you have to pull that yellow tag to be able to inflate them. Okay, and we're going to demonstrate to how these would work if you're in the water, but first tell us if you're out on the boat, how many life jackets would you need to have in your boat if you're out on the water? You have to have one life jacket for every person on board. That life jacket has to be sized for the person. It has to be Coast Guard regulation, which means Coast Guard approved and that would be stamped on the inside of the life jacket. It has to be good wearable condition and it has to be readily accessible. Okay, Mo, Craig, help me get in the water because we're going to show you how these inflate. So I'm going to get in here with the help of the guys and then just take me through, Paul, <coughs> when I'm in the water. Uh, what you have to do is pull the yellow pull tab firmly and uh, cross our fingers it'll inflate. There we go. Oh, cool. That's it. And that's, it. And that's going to save your life. Awesome. Paul, thanks so much. So tell us tomorrow where people can go to check out the event you're hosting. The event will be at Light Park in Green Bay. It's from 9 to uh, 3. And uh, we have open tours on the Coast Guard Cutter Buckthorn. It's free to the public. And the first 50 kids that show up with a, an adult or a guardian for the opening ceremony will be inducted into Team Coasty. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Em. We, and what she was trying to say there is that we have all that information for you online. Fox11online.com. Click on Good Day Wisconsin.